Let's start with the freak off. How we get there? Tell them about the freak off, Diddy Jr. Diddy Jr., tell them about the freak off. Tell them about the freak off. He don't care about these kids. All he care about is doing drugs, drinking alcohol, and these That's what you care about. So let's go. Let's go. Wait a minute. Not Neo getting exposed by both his ex-girlfriend and baby mama for being a baby oil king child. Get in here cuz, just when we thought this Diddy saga couldn't get any worse Neo has also been incriminated after a video went viral of his baby mama, exposing him for being at Diddy's freak-off parties, and get this Neo was allegedly not just blowing the backs out of women at them freak-offs he was. Bending over the men too and oiling them up with that Johnson and Johnson and Johnson to make things even worse. His girlfriend Minetta also said that Neo has been a raging freak-off addict for decades now, and that's actually why she left him could just never keep up to his addiction and that's when she knew she had to clock out not only that but his infamous polygamous relationships are just a facade tied his love for that boy but now, as you all know, ever since Diddy got arrested, a whole lot of names have been coming up. And at this point, it's looking like everybody and their mama was at them freak-off parties, including none other than Neo. This one was a little bit surprising though because Neo was already in a polygamous relationship. So you think he'd be satisfied with the little three-way freak-offs he's been having with his women? But apparently that ain't enough to keep him satisfied because word on the street, he was also spreading cheeks at Diddy's freak-off parties, and the worst part of it all was he was caught. On tape doing so, these rumors started going around when a video of his baby mama Shade is accusing him of being a regular participant at Diddy's freak-off party started resurfacing on the internet. She even went as far as labeling Neo as Diddy Jr ch her calling this man he was also diving into men and sometimes he'd have his own private freakouts in the house while his kids were home but it wasn't just the freaks that was going down she said tell them the real you tell them the real you and why we're here today y'all guess what over what over what because he won't over the house while his kids is here why you this to have and and alcohol mushrooms and in the house while his kids are here everyone has asked him to stop but he will not listen to nobody this is what's going on this is the tea while the bitch in the house i asked him not to bring no bitch in the house i even came over here to help him with these kids because he won't want to he won't watch these kids how did we get there let's let's go since we on live let's go there let's start let's start with the freak off how we get there tell him about the freak off diddy jr Diddy Jr., tell them about the freak off. Tell them about the freak off. Tell them the truth. Tell these people the truth. Oh, shut the f don't give a f under these kids. Do y'all see a f picture in this house of a f kid? He don't care about these kids. All he care about is doing sh drinking alcohol, and f that's what you care about. So let's go. I'm a Diddy bop the f out of here. You and your freak off. You can get back to your freak off in a minute. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. Your stories will be coming out next. You know what the f going on. You know, how, how was Brayden conceived? Let's, let's start there. So as for that pink I was talking about, Jaguar Wright actually came out to explain how this works and cannot believe what she had to say. Apparently, it's a mixture of different substances, including Viagra and any other substance you can think of. It's supposed to help those who take it party and freak off for long hours without feeling a thing. If remember, it was also revealed in Diddy's indictment that these freak-offs would go on for days. Well, for those of wondering where they got that stamina. The two, the, the two seat. Yeah, the two seat, that's what they got. I got no, I found out, I talked to my guy. Because I wanted to be informed. Because people was calling the two seat, is calling it the two -chi. I didn't know which one it was. So I talked to my guy and my I filled me in. And then it made perfect sense. Tusi. Talk to him. With Jaguar. <laughs> Let's talk to Jaguar. Education. <laughs> one on one. So Tusi is the but they take the cat and cook it up. And they they fold it into the Now if you don't know what cat is, cat is what they call on the street special cat. It's a veterinary it's a horse tranquilizer. Now, gay men have been using this for years. See, back in the day, if you went to a gay party or a gay rave, there were certain that you would always find on hand. Viagra, XC, 
special K. And now see, the K can keep you up all night, but unfortunately, it gives you limp noodle because of what the blood flow is. So the you who wants to fuck with a half hard night. So that's why you had the Viagra to make sure that the, the involuntarily stays hard while you're numbing yourself with the Now see, the caffeine, that's a horse tranquilizer. So that relaxes all your muscles. You could get by 80 um, ton gorillas. You wouldn't feel a thing. So now, you is gonna stay hard. You numbed up and you high. You got the caffeine in you so you don't feel And then you add the, the extra to put in the feeling that you've now blocked out. And now you got a party. Freak off cocktail. Yeah. So now, the two C, they done skipped. They done skipped all the steps. They condensed it. So you got the in there, and then you got the in there, and they say that some of the dealers add the X in there. Now the Viagra, they st you still gotta take that solo. But with the tipsy, you got all of that. Mm -hmm. The gay cocktail. Oh. Off cocktail in the one thing. And the reason why it's pink is because they put the food coloring in it. They think, um, he said he think they got it from the Breaking Bad. You remember yeah, how they was making them? The and they made it a special color. So they done that with the Tootsie. Wow. It, it's the food coloring. You think that? As what? if you need more. When did high not get high enough? Like, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, to the point where you have to fly it across. Like, I need that here tonight. Can you get that here? Like, no. I need that here. You got three drinks. And food coloring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You are numb. You are wired. You pop that, that Viagra. You a fing machine. You anything. You a brick wall when he was feeling. But that wasn't all. She also went on to reveal that these freak off parties that Neo hosts in his house actually happen every day, not just a few times a week, every single day. She even went as far as telling him to come out of the closet and live in his truth, instead of making everybody think he's a good father when he's actually a deadbeat, who's getting his cheeks slapped in front of his kids. Got security calling the police for you. <laughs> so he could come over here and have a freak off. That's what the f you do every mother f night. You're a f weirdo. You got a f 13 year old girl upstairs, but you running around here with holding their hand and you don't even hold your kid's hand. Hold your kid's hand. Oh my God, Schaefer, please stop. Please, Schaefer, please, bro. Oh my God, you gotta tell the truth. Just tell these people the fuck truth about who you are, living your truth. Just living your truth, bro. Oh my God, bro. Man, the whole industry is definitely weird as man. Weird as the shit I be witnessing is just insane. You really, you you hurt yourself every day. I'm just doing shit. You shit ain't gonna do shit for me. I wish you would tell the story about the freak off, but you wanna play games. Damn right I popped up. I'm sick of this shit. Come here at 9 o'clock, he's screaming, kid, go to sleep, go to sleep, so he can have his come over, drink, smoke, do drugs, and out of here. Just watch your kids. You do that shit every day when you're not here. Every day when you're not here, you was just loud. People also couldn't help but notice how much of a mess that Neil looked like in that video. His hair was shaved off, he looked miserable, and he could barely let out a word to defend himself. He genuinely looked like he was still high on that pink. Oh, but this mess was still far from over because after she spilled all this tea, people started speculating that the reason why Neo was even in a polygamous relationship and is always seen with multiple women is probably cause he's DL. People feel like DL men have the tendency to overdo heterosexual things, and apparently Neo having this many women in his life is an example of that. These rumors got even worse when people found out that his addiction to Diddy's freak-offs was actually the reason his ex-girlfriend Mineta, who he reportedly was dating from 2019 to 2013, left him. At some point during this relationship, Mineta realized there was nothing she could do to match up to his raging addiction to freaking off, so she packed up her things and left and never looked back. Just like she said, Neo would ask for these little freak-offs every day. 
According to an interview she did after she broke up with Neo, she said she knew he was in the industry of freak-offs, but she still agreed to date him because she thought they were only going to be indulging a few times a year. However, not too long after they were together, she realized she'd have to do it almost every day. And that's when she had to clock out of that relationship and run for the hills. She said, we cheated together. If that makes sense. We did things together. It's not cheating if you're involved with it. And then it just wasn't enough for him. I was like, well, no, I didn't sign up to do this every day. It became a problem when he wanted that a lot. She said, I was like, if you want to do that, then you don't want me. I tried to keep it cute and spicy, but it wasn't enough. But it is what it is. This whole situation is a mess. And if what she is saying about Neo is true, then the police need to be looking into him as well, especially since he was doing all this around his kids. As usual, people had their own thoughts about this, like this person who said, she said he's throwing freak off parties at his own house while his kids are there. And yet she tolerated it. What woman allows their children to be exposed to that evil? That doesn't say anything good about her. She actually can't call Neo out without exposing herself. Neo is one person I just assumed was there by default anyway. Another person said, damn, she knew about the freak offs and Neo's participation and still had a child with him. Sounds like he was part of the freak off too. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about Neo getting exposed? Do you think he should also be investigated for having those freak offs around his kids? Know what to do? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.